friends, it's me again. Um, this is day two of my book recommendations for you guys as a big thank you. And in the spirit of traveling, I have chosen one of my favorite books um, from a close family friend. And she bought this for me when I was younger while she was away traveling in Taiwan, which was amazing. And I love her for it. Anyways, so the book that I chose for today is Our Home is the Sea by Ricky Levinson. And the paintings are done by Dennis Lusak. Now, the really cool thing about this book is that the illustrations are actual oil paintings, and so when you look through it, you can see the really awesome, really awesome texture, and also just vibrant colors, and then just rich paintings that you can't really produce otherwise um, unless it's oil. So this is really cool. And second off, the storyline is also really awesome in that it's more progressive than you would think of just a small children's book. So hand in hand, the paintings and the story are really, really awesome. So I'm going to read you a short little excerpt from it. Um, it's pretty short anyways, but I didn't want to read the whole thing because I'm going to give you guys something to do. So our home is the sea. Our home is the sea, grandfather said to me. My, to my father, and my father said to me, I am the eldest son, just like my father. When he was a boy, he did not go to school. I wish I didn't have to. I could be with my father all the time. Soon he will come home for me, for today is my last day of school. I stuffed my report card into my pocket. I do not want my mother to see it. She will say that I will be a school teacher someday. That is not what I want to be. I stand on the hill near my school. I can see the sea, my sea. Down, down the hill I run to take the tram home. I get on the tram quickly, run up the stairs and sit down to watch. The tram moves slowly. I cannot wait. We ride through the market streets. People crowd around the carts. A mother with a baby strapped on her back bends up and down, up and down. The baby sleeps. A man walks through the street carrying two birds. They make loud noises. I do not think they will like. They like to be carried by their necks. At the end of the street, the tram stops. The light is red. A school bus crosses to the other side of the road. Little children hop off the bus. Amas are waiting for them to take, waiting to take them home. I cannot wait for the light to turn green. All right. So as we've seen, the pictures amazing. They're so just uh, rich and detailed and awesome. And I think anybody. Would really enjoy them because they are so so nice but the second thing which I really enjoy about this story is that it has its main character this little Asian boy who lives in Hong Kong by the way um he is is kind of presented in more of a stereotypical because he's smart and he's Asian and all of these ways but at the same time it's more genuine because he is embracing that lifestyle because he actually is living in Hong Kong. These are the things that he lives with, the busy car streets, going to school. But another side thing that he lives on a boat with his mother and his small brothers and his father and his grandfather. Well, throughout the story, you find out that the father and grandfather actually are out to sea for a while and they're coming back the next day and that's what he's so excited he cannot wait for them to get back because when they come back they're going to take him with and they're gonna all, all go fishing together and uh you know keep up with the family business I guess you could say throughout the story um his mother keeps saying you're gonna be a school teacher you're gonna be a school teacher and he just does not want that to happen that doesn't seem as 
um, he doesn't want that to happen. So I really like that he is a character that's able to stand up and say, no, mom, I want to be a fisherman. I want to follow in grandfather and father's footsteps. And in that way, it's really pretty progressive as the book goes, because in a lot of children's literature, um, the main characters aren't given that kind of agency to decide and choose how their life is going to go. They're given very limited agency by the author. Um, but in this one, he's putting his foot down. He's choosing to do what he wants to do. And it's kind of an odd way. It's a little bit of a reversal because most stories, it's like, no, I don't want to go into the family business. But he is actually adamant that that's what he wants to do. He wants to stay in the family and keep doing that. And kudos to him. That's awesome. He's following the dream. Well, anyways, thank you guys so, so much for listening and for supporting me and just being amazing. And again, our home is the sea and you should check it out. And I will be posting another video tomorrow. Thank you guys. Bye.